Hey everyone, it's me James, and today I'm going to just do a shave and uh, talk about a sample of soap that I received from Straight Razor Designs. And this is something I've seen a little bit about out there, but um, just so that folks know, this is the Meisner Tremonia. And this is the exotic LMI. LME. And what I can tell you is that this stuff smells great. Um, it's a, it's not tallow based. Uh, the ingredients are steric acid, coconut oil, water, potassium hydroxide, ababasu oil, sodium hydroxide, macadamia nut oil, glycerin, LMI essential oil, lemonin, Kenega essential oil, French green clay, tech, Telg, <laughs> citric acid, jojoba oil, sea salt, citrol, linalool, benzyl benzoate, benzyl salicylate, eugenol, and farnesol, ger geranil. And oh, this stuff smells fantastic. To me, it almost smells like a uh, very similar. Uh, to soaps that have kind of like a, a bergamot and patchouli type scent to it. I'll put more up in the slides here to show more about how the scent is. Um, but it smells great. I actually like the way this smells. Um, so I really appreciate it. Razor guys sending this out uh, from Straight Razor Designs. Um, have it blooming right now. I took about... Uh, came in flakes as you could tell and I took enough to make and balled it up really tight and made about oh somewhere between a third to a half inch hailstone size and then just mashed it down to the bottom of my bug from Lady C Creations. Um, the brush I'll be using is going to be the PAV P6 Broncos brush with a Plasson nut. And the razor I'll be using is my Joe Edson from Edson Razors. This is the custom Western Grind Commissari with the dual acid wash, darker, lighter. So just a fantastic razor, beautiful, functional. What more can you ask for? Just everything you need and more. Um, Alright, and to top it off, because the closest scent for me in my arsenal anyway, which is pretty limited as far as aftershaves go, I don't really stock up on a lot. But to me, the the Oud, the Stallion from Razor Rock, just seems to match the closest to what I have again in my arsenal of aftershaves. Um, the citrus ones were too citrusy and, you know, anything vetiver or green were too green. So this one seems to be toned into around the area that I could get it to. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and unfortunately today, since I'm not uh, resting my brush in any water or anything, I'll just be pouring out the bloom water and just leaving just a little bit of moisture on there so that third to half inch ball mashed to about like that so that you can just kind of have something to relate it to all right so I'll just wet my tips a little bit there we go okay it's going sorry for the noise And just like anything, kind of like what the stallion says, you know how he talks about bigger bubbles to lesser bubbles until you just get that creamy proto lather. That's basically what I always do with my soaps. Um, don't necessarily throw the bath water out to get there. I kind of just kind of let it all go until it's all there. So basically all I do is I just keep pushing this big bubbled stuff down 
along with what I'm loading off of the soap itself. And this seems like a true soap, a little bit towards the harder side, so probably along the consistency of something like a soap commander or something like that, not as soft as some other artisan soaps that are out there. So I'm still going. I'm going to go ahead and wet my tips just a bit more. Bring it down. Ooh. Not so concerned about it. It's not like I'm bowl lathering. Whatever proto lather is left in here, even if it's a lot, I'll just add to my face. All right. So it looks like I'm bowl lathering, but I am not. Just trying to load this brush up. Just go, go, go. All right. So, I may have to change plans. Maybe. So I'm trying to see if the soap is going to load on the brush. However, I'm not getting the stickiness that I like to get with just loading the brush. So, I don't want to waste all of this. So what I may end up doing is just going ahead and just kind of having the base of the soap down here and, and continue to bowl leather, but we'll see. Let me go ahead and work at it a little bit more. But man, it smells great. just gonna go, have to go ahead and turn this into a bowl lather anyway um, a little bit more than uh, what I want from fluffiness I actually like my lather generally to be denser um, but I'll see how this goes I mean it looks great so as far as peakiness and all that stuff goes it's fine in that category so you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and work with it, wet my face a little bit, and we'll carry on. Because as far as peakiness goes, lots of body. All right, so we'll see what happens. All right, so today is Tuesday. June 2nd, 2015. There we go. Man, this soap smells really good. I'm really hoping the performance matches the scent. something on my shoulder. Just watching Geo Fat Boy did the 38 from Mercur, which is the barber pole version, a little bit longer, heftier than the 34 and he was using a pre-shave oil on to me it uh really seemed like oh uh, he probably didn't expect his lather to be so weak in it but he carried on the trooper that geo is and got himself a decent shave 
but compared to some videos I've seen in the past from Gio, it didn't seem like a lather that he would quite uh, use compared to other videos. Alright. I'm excited the Shave the Man brush will be here soon. Brushes are stateside! Yeah! So for those that like that kind, there you go. For me, that's a, again a little too whippy, but we'll see. Performance may trick me here. I usually like mine a little denser to where it flops over more. Feels like the slickness should be adequate. Rinse my hands real quick. Dry them. All right, I'm back. Warm up my blade. Two shakes of the lamb's tail, carefully watching that you're not hitting anything. And here we go. Awesome. All right. So, so far the creaminess feels good. Whenever you go back into whatever you're doing, just make sure you're paying attention to where your blade's at so you don't whack it on anything. Very nice. Enjoying the shave so far. And of course, these nine folders, just right where my heart is. All right, just an excellent first pass. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off and lather up real quick and see how the uh, see how it looks. So I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, I'm back. So here we go. There's the lather. Haven't done anything to it. Let's go ahead and get going for pass two. Some of this creamy goodness out. Again, I personal preference is I like my lather to be a little bit richer, uh, denser feeling, but this is still a nice lather. Um, it has adequate slickness, mid-range, in my opinion. 
So to me, it's not as slick as like a Katie's Bubbles or Dapper Dragon. To me, it's not even as slick as the Dapper Dragon vegan version. Definitely not as slick as the Dapper Dragon uh, Tello version. Trying to think of mainstream to compare it to. Most of the artisan soaps that I carry are all really, in my opinion, top tier slick. Um, mainstream comparison as slick as uh, Parasso. So again, as long as your um, coverage of the soap on your face is good. With adequate hydration, you should be fine. Oh, there's a nice sheen in this lather. Uh, it's not the tightest in bubbles, but it's still a really good lather. But the scent, the scent is top notch. Wipe my hands real quick. Um, as far as irritation, I don't feel any tingling. Uh, I don't feel any discomfort from it. Uh, so that's always good. Um, again, adequate coverage for shaving and I'm gonna go ahead and go with this so I'll be back at the end of the shave to cover anything else see you then all right I'm back and I'm just kind of finishing up just wanted to get my own observations I noticed that for me for uh, soaps that are less rich and dense um, for me anyway because I take longer it will begin to dry up which is one of the reasons if I can get me a, a rich lather that holds moisture well then even if it starts to get towards the end at least um, there's still enough held in that lather uh, to where I feel more comfortable. Not that I'm getting a bad shave, mind you. Just for me, I like it to be bam comfort wise all right so very nice shave feels good happy with where it's at and uh, yeah so again oh, had to find my bag there all right so this is for the Meissner Tremonia Tremonia and this is the exotic Elemi and this is just smells wonderful 
again, this is a sample, so I don't know, you know, how much it costs or anything like that, but uh, just scent-wise for this particular one, smells great. Um, you can still get a really good lather out of it. Uh, so far from what I can tell just now, um, just a little bit of skin dry out maybe, just a little bit. Not irritated, um, but the skin itself feels soft, so that's good. And that was with my Plasson. Again, I still have some nice, <laughs> really fluffy cream here. So let's say that I took that out and only did two and a half passes, two passes and some touch up. So this is out of the bowl, out of the knot, pretty much empty. And again, for me, what I would call typical non tello lather. Uh, bubbles are tight, just not as tight as I like, but you still get some nice peakiness to it. Um, seems to hold moisture well. Uh, overall, just a really, really nice soap. Um, so, again, check the prices out. This came from Straight Razor Designs as a sample, so I'm assuming they carry it. And I have a link in the down below the video. Oh, and this particular scent just smells great. I love it. Just very nice. I could sit here playing with this lather all day because it actually feels really good. Um, if I could get the way it feels right now, just mashing it around in my hand. Um, from the brush to my face, that would be excellent. Still really good, but playing with it feels a lot better. Um, again, plenty of body. <laughs> plenty good. Plenty good. <sighs> Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy the brothers and sisters that you have within the shaving community enjoy your families and god bless you guys and until i see you again thank you for watching bye